Sixers, Knicks, our first game earlier tonight. Knicks are leading the season series 2-1 to one heading into the game. Tyrese Maxey back after four games away. OG. OG! OG Ananobi back after 18 games away. And early on, OG was feeling it, taking it right at Tobias Harris. Then, OG, cookies. Good D. Going the other way. Oh, that's good right there. Jalen Brunson. Uh, Brunson burner. Sit there and watch it. Brunson be posing on his mate. Ooh. Precious. Precious Achua. What's his last name, Chuck? Achua. Man. Oh, that's good right there. Yes, it uh, is. OG from the corner again. Shooting that thing like Glenn Rice, huh? This play was the highlight oh, of the night for the Sixers. Oh, no! More Hardenstein. He jumped late. Oh, wow. He jumped late. With a lot of force, too. Kelly no, 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 he jumped up. He got to jump towards the Kelly Oubre was getting in fights with some of the Knicks players on Sunday. So it wasn't sure fighting. Was it wasn't fighting. Big Martin. guard, Josh Hart. He got he tackled. Was he, posing. he was laughing. Like you said, ain't nobody going to fight. Knicks were up 18 at halftime. Sixers trying to get back into this one. Lowry to Maxi for three. Maxi with three threes in the game. He'd have 17 points. But too much Knicks in this one. Oh, gee, spin oh. cycle. A lot of backdoor cuts. Right around B-ball Paul and then Josh yeah. Hart finding a cut in Brunson. A cut. Josh Hart with a heck of a statistical night. 20 points, 19 rebounds, big 10 guard. assists. Big guard, big guard. And for the first time in seemingly a month, he didn't play 40 minutes. He only played 39. So we're so happy that he can get the rest. Knicks win this one 106 to 79. The Knicks hold the Sixers to under 80 for back to back games. And Josh Hart caught up with our Jared Greenberg after the game. This was a little bit of a different offensive performance from you guys than Sunday. What, what do you feel changed? Um, I think our pace. Uh, I think we played faster. We cut. We moved. Uh, we were smarter with the basketball. We didn't have as many turnovers. No, we just played fast, played to all strengths. OG Ananobi returned tonight. You're now 13 and two in games where he plays. Why does he make such a difference? Uh, man, he, he's he's a lead on both sides of the ball. Um, obviously, offensively able to knock down shots, but defensively, um, he's someone you can base your defense around. He gets stops. We've had success with him. Uh, you know, hopefully we can. Uh, you know, keep them on the court. Your nine game streak is over of 40 minutes in those games. You, you missed it by a minute tonight. There we go. There we go. I told you once OG's back, man. Minutes <laughs> going down, baby. Yeah, he's, he's upset about his usage. <laughs> he's going to give me grief about something. So goes in one ear out the other. But he, he was terrific. All right, Nick's looking like they're back on track. Shaq trying to read Precious's last name on the box score like he is sub. A. A. Ron. Yeah, that's what it says. You're talking about a chew, a C. H. I. That does not. Does not How you gonna tell me his last name? The only name that Shaq doesn't like more is Jakob Pearl. Pearl's chai. Jakob Pearl. C. H. I. is not chew. Shangun. Shangun's another. Shangun is the yeah. one Shangun. that would definitely mess him up. Uh, Boston taking on Utah. This is the uh, f oh, final game ball. Watch of Boston's Watch five game road trip. That's playoff Watch out, basketball. Jalen Brown is not in this one, taking the night off. Chris Dunn to Keontae George, the I young like sharpshooter out really of Baylor. Like okay. 26 and 6 for Keontae George. I like that kid a lot. I like him. Pritchard to Drew Holiday for the <laughs> work. 16 for him. Cornette to the uh, Swiss Army knife that is Got Derek him. White. Red shoes. Yeah, you're not a fan of no. shoes that don't match the jersey. Oh, no. <laughs> Jordan Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson, That's certified me. bucket getter. You can wear, you can wear the all white ones like he got on. If you know, Jordan Clarkson, you got, I would argue. Oh, good pass. Most stylish player in the NBA. All right, halftime. Boston was up by 25. Jason oh. Tatum. I thought he was going down. 38 points in this one. And then Clarkson got showing the skills. 21 points off the bench for Jordan Clarks. Now, look at this. Boston's only up two. Jason Tatum knocks down the triple. This game got close. Then Cornette to Derek White. 24 for Derek White. No Jalen Brown again. End of the game, putting it away. Tatum, he loves some ISO. Spin move. 
38, six rebounds, one block. Boston wins 123, 107, 51 wins on the year. Utah, they now lose, I believe, their 11th of their last 13. They did not have Laurie Markkinen for the fourth straight game, but Boston gets the dub in Utah. Let's take a look at the East standings. A lot less crowded at the top, and when I say a lot, I mean a ton. Almost a 10-game lead for the Celtics on the Bucks, and then we have a little bit of a log jam fighting for that sixth spot to avoid the play-in. Yeah, I mean, if you look at, what, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, all within, what, two and a half games, yep. I think that it's key to get, obviously, in the top six so you're not in the play-in. But I think what's interesting is the Sixers. And we talk about Embiid coming back. Are you coming back for a play-in game? Like, are you coming back to play in to get into the tournament? Right. I mean, get in the tournament. I'm in March. No, Madness. no. It, it, to get it into the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Jamal? Um, I agree with Candace on that, but what really is interesting is the Bucks, And the Bucks, the way they're playing right now, I'm not sure. They can be somebody who gets upset early in the playoffs. Like last Again. year. Yeah, Just last like year. last year. Yeah. Right, but you made a move for this year, a couple of them, right? Yeah, but you also got rid of a big move. You did. Drew Holiday. You did, but you got Dame Lillard. I'm not, yeah. And then Doc Rivers is like bringing in another player with how powerful that was, so they could be the team that that has an early exit with the wrong matchup. Only thing I see is can Boston keep the focus? They're 10 games ahead now, they have that number one spot. So they already know they're going to get the number one spot. But what you don't want to happen is, you know, you got the number one spot, there's six, seven games left, and they try to get prepared for the playoffs and somebody gets hurt. They have to keep the focus and, and know and understand that we are the number one spot. We're on a mission, so we have to keep the focus until playoffs start. Yeah, when you guys were that happened Lake to me one time. That happened to me one time. I was going to say, with the Lakers, when you no, guys Miami. have such a – Well, Miami. First year I got to Miami, Stan Van Gundy was the coach. We had already clinched, and I wanted to take a game off. I played. Jermaine O'Neal came down, hit me in the thigh. Look, see that? I we still got the thigh bruise. Is that it? Yeah, that's the thigh no, bruise. No, that's, that's not it. That's still it. That's the thigh bruise. Bro, he's got a baseball yeah. in his yeah, it's still leg. There. So. With them being ten Jermaine games, Neal, bro. with Come them on. being ten games ahead, they need to keep the focus and need to understand, stick to the formula that they've been doing. First, first to fifty games, definitely sign up a team that can win a championship if they stay focused. Because if they lose that focus, the same light switch thing, you can turn it back on. You got to go and say, hey, this is where we are. This is what we want to do. We got to keep doing it. What did you guys do in L.A.? Because you all had a pretty good size lead. Phil, and number one, like, how did you guys win? Was his matchups? Was he looking more towards matchups? Yes, Phil. Phil was looking more towards matchups, but he was, he was, he was really good because he would say, "Okay, playoff start. Take these two games off, but don't go crazy. I want to hear about you in the club. Just, just, just rest your body, and then when we come back and practice, we're gonna have a hard practice. And then you do extra cardio. Be ready. And I would have to promise him I'd, I'd be ready. So it's like you know a barter system." You do for me, I do for you. You give me these two games off, let me get these big knacks, I'm gonna give you four. Oh, so you were the Bulls off. Rodman. He gave you the yes. winner. Yeah. All the time. And that's why I was always able to average time. forty and be fresh. Like he'd come in some day and be like, No, you, you look hurt. Go over there. Get in the hot tub, get in the cold tub, do some bike, make sure you pay attention to what you're doing. But hey, I need forty tomorrow and and I would say I got you. It was barbecue chicken. Alert. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. Cleveland needs to get healthy. The Knicks are starting to get healthy again. But the East, definitely less wide open compared to the West. Shaq with the jokes tonight. I see you. <laughs> I got another joke. Candace, when are you going back? Back where? Wakanda. <laughs> the beats. She ain't like that one. She ain't like that one, Shaq. She ain't like that one. She look like a beautiful Wakandian princess. Wakanda forever. <laughs>